Corey Gate McGill pone Notre Dame. She likes it, eh? Oh, yeah, she does. There's Katia. Oh. How are you? It's okay. It's okay. You're here. You're here. I hope she doesn't start crying once we put it out. I think she really likes it. <laughs> Okay. I am uh, very, very proud to welcome you all to the City Hall, particularly with the child. It's a very touching moment to see. And when we contacted College of Mount St. Louis, that's what these students, it, it was one of the coldest days in Montreal. We just finished. There was all these students going to carry the torch for so long. I mean, when you see that kind of spirit and that kind of passion, and you also need a fighter. Zoe is a fighter. We just don't know what a baby has to go through to stay alive, to fight. It's, it's a bigger fight than any of us can imagine. And she had the courage. And she's a fighter. I want to thank Joelle for doing a great job putting everything together. Okay. No. <laughs> Four-year-old heart transplant recipient. Today she had the honor of carrying the torch of life to Montreal City Hall. Okay, Marco. Well, she's wondering what everything is. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a few bang. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to Catherine for a second. Marco is holding Zoe in his lap, and you're holding the torch. Tell us about, tell us about this day. Uh, well, today. Um, it start, all started two years ago when someone was carrying the torch while Zoe was waiting for her heart. And she, the torch visited her at the hospital. And uh, she had her heart a few months but after Today that. was her day of carrying the torch uh, to uh, City Hall. And I'm looking at the torch and it's just about as big as she is. <laughs> so how, how, how did you manage? Well, I, I kind of uh, helped her uh, a little. I was carrying Zoe and uh, Zoe was carrying the help for her to, uh, to carry it. But it... Uh, it went just great. Splendidly well. Yes. And it kept you warm. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> she was asking. Okay. Wow. Oh, encore Gretzy. C'est à la maison de grand papa. On continue. Salut, mon beau. Isn't that nice? Now for a story that is definitely going to make you smile. It's the story of a little girl and a gift she received that literally saved her life. Now she wants to inspire others. The CBC's Joanne Rakis met Zoe Bernard today. Ça va bien aujourd'hui, Zoe? She's doing just good. Just fine, yes. She's a little shy today. Oh, yeah, she is. Today was a big one for this little girl. The four-year-old is only a bit bigger than the torch she was carrying to City Hall. Last year, the tiny Montrealer received the gift of life, a heart from an organ donor. It was a real miracle for her parents. It's just terrible. You see her child just going away. She was she was going the last 48 hours before she got her heart. She we didn't know if she was make, going to make it, and uh, it was a miracle that she had her heart at that. Moment. Zoe's heart came to her in part through the hard work of the group SOS the Americas. 
For a seventh time now, the group is carrying a torch through North and South America to raise awareness on organ and tissue donations. Memory For this meeting, the gift of a new heart is still very fresh. Everything stops, the world stops turning, nothing else exists. We both started crying. After that, the feeling is like a, a new birth. Katia Habra was one of the students who carried the torch for Zoe last year. It's uh, really important because what I mean, once you're dead, you're you're dead. You're, you you had the chance to live and you you had the chance to do what you had to do. But what is the point of you know not giving that chance to someone else who might need? Zoe is the perfect spokesperson for the cause. Today, what better spokesperson than to have Zoe Bernard carry the torch? And we're also going to inspire everybody in Montreal and possibly Quebec to sign that organ donor card. Family, the issue of organ and tissue donation is one that crosses cultural, ethnic and religious lines because it can in fact affect all of us. They want to remind everybody that the donations that come from one person alone can save up to eight lives. Lives like that of little Zoe's. Joanne Brackus, CBC News, Montreal. There was a special ceremony outside City Hall today. Zoe Bernard received the Torch of Life as it made a stop in Montreal. The Torch is traveling through the Americas, promoting the importance of organ Zoe and her parents know something about that. Zoe received a new heart about one year ago and is now happy and healthy. It's promoting organ donation as part of their mission as they cherish every day with their healthy daughter. But uh, coming out from it, I think now we can find every little positive thing in any situation. But yes, it is uh, it is difficult to stay positive. But you try and dig and find something good. But you know, when you see uh, when you see Zoe, a little kid, the only thing that they want to do is live. They're so strong. They're giving you a lesson of life, and you don't have choice. You have to fight because when you see them going, it's. You have no other, uh, nothing else to do. And you see, a Bromal family is promoting the gift of life. Two years ago, four-year-old Zoe Bernard was our waiting list for a new heart. Well, now her family is appealing to the public to make a simple gesture to save a life. I need to know. This is what Zoe's parents used to dream of. Carefree moments with a healthy daughter. She's having her second chance now and she's happy. At two months, she was showing signs of illness. At two years, she was waiting for a new heart. Like every morning you wake up and the nightmare is still there. Uh, you, know, you don't know what the day is going to be. And every moment you wish someone tells you, the heart is here, we have a heart. The heart finally came in April of 2008 from a young donor in Philadelphia. Today, four-year-old Zoe is well enough to take part in the step-by-step -step campaign, a torch relay across North and South America to raise awareness about organ The student joined the relay after hearing about Zoe. We felt proud to know that she was, she was all right in the end, and I'm really happy to meet her today. Zoe is one of the lucky ones. More than 4,000 Canadians are still waiting, counting on others to sign their donor this cards. Has to be the the most important plea to our country is because there's organs going to waste every day. Hundreds of organs are going to waste every day. We have to reach people with this. It saved Zoe's life. Now her family hopes her story can convince others. But she is so happy. She's smiling. She's playing. She's a, she's a happy little girl. Ready to celebrate her fourth Christmas and many more. Annie DeMount. CTV News.